Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. I hope you're well. I am quite good. Busy day on Monday, and it will be throughout football season now. Chris Kleiman held his first spring football in-session press conference on Monday, and all of his press conferences this football season will be held on Monday because he wants to kind of get that out of the way as he begins preparations. I don't know. And he doesn't want to talk about the game from Saturday on Tuesday. So they're going to change that. So we'll be busy on Mondays all year long, and you'll have kind of a more evenly spread out amount of coverage, which, of course, I like. But I'd also like you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Are you? I don't know. I don't live with you. I just, I'm on this talkie box thing. So do so if you're not. We're trying to get to 14K, and you can help us if you're not. Leave those comments and leave the thumbs up. Everyone is fired up about K-State football, at least in the Purple Nation here. And I get it. I mean, Avery Johnson is catching national attention. Everyone's talking about Avery Johnson. It's not a K-State phenomenon. Everyone wants to see him. And now you put Dylan Edwards back there with him and DJ Giddens, and people get really stoked. And I got news for you. Those guys and this offense is going to be good. But that's not the reason K-State's going to be really good. It's the defense. And nobody's really talking about that. I am stoked for this defense because they seem to have the pieces they need. They have a little more depth at nose tackle and big old Usos back. I like that a lot. Of course, they have two very experienced linebackers in Austin Moore and Desmond Purnell, both capable of playing at Big 12 levels. And they've got some really good young linebackers. Austin Romaine apparently has really blossomed after seeing action as a true freshman. And Asa Newsom's healthy. Ahead of schedule, that's big news. On the corners, you've got two speedy, fast, experienced dudes that Chris Kleiman now points out are both over 200 pounds or near 200 pounds with Parrish and Garber. And on the back end, you've got a slew of safeties. B.J. Payne, Marquis Siegel, and of course, Jordan Riley, the transfer, plus a lot of young guys. I mean, there's so many young guys on this defense, it's frightening. But I haven't talked about where the real hot spot is, where the most... Uh, excitement might come from. You know, K-State's had this cool string of pass rush experts, those guys that can just get after the quarterback and disrupt. But they didn't really have that full force last year, and I think it hurt the team. This year it's going to change. And don't ask me necessarily who it'll be from, but there are three, yes, three redshirt freshmen that Chris Kleiman said are all ready to play, and they all will play. Now, keep in mind, Mott and Stufflebean are back at D-end as experienced hands, but these three dudes are horses and they're ready to run. And let's get into them right now. We have talked a lot about Chidi Obi-Izor. Chidi Obi Izor. Whew. And at, what is he, 6'5", 282, that's not common of K-State defensive ends. And in fact, Chris Kleiman mentioned that he'll be playing a little bit different spot than the other two. I don't know what that means. It might be part of that four-man front they're, they're messing with. They might be looking at him as a down uh, defensive end that is actually a tackle. I don't know. We're going to find out. That's exciting. But I'm hearing a lot of things about Jordan Allen out of Olathe at 6'4", 260, and Ryan Davis out of Phoenix at 6'4", 252. And, of course, Travis Bates is a transfer in at about the same measurements. A lot of young guys that are going to play a lot of minutes. And from what we're hearing, all three of these guys are extremely capable of being disruptive. They can get after the quarterback and do so with authority. That's the biggest question mark for me in terms of the defense. Are these guys are going to be as good as we expect? This defense is going to be outstanding. And if Avery Johnson and company hold up their end of the bargain, that adds up to a damn good football team. I can't wait till August 31st. I know you can either. K-State and Tennessee Martin at the bill. We got a ways to go, and we'll have coverage at Go Pyrocat.